One of the world's largest inland floating solar farms is now complete, right here in Singapore. It spans the size of 45 football fields and is located at Tangai Reservoir. The farm can power all of the country's water treatment plants or about 16,000 four-room flats. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long opened the facility. He says that the project was completed in less than a year, even during the COVID-19 pandemic. But the idea was 10 years in the making. Floating farms allow Singapore to tap on the large surface area of reservoirs, an attractive option as the country lacks the land to scale up solar deployment. Mr Lee says that Singapore is now one of the most solar-dense cities in the world. By 2030, we plan to have installed at least two gigawatt peak of solar PV capacity here. Innovations such as floating solar farms will help us overcome our physical constraints. And I hope this project will give our solar and renewable energy industry a boost and pave the way for more such facilities to be built here and in the region. This will take us one big step forwards towards environmental sustainability as we transition into a low-carbon world. This solar farm on Tengi Reservoir is built using 122,000 solar panels, mounted on twice as many floats. It can produce 60 megawatt peak of energy, cutting carbon emissions by about 32,000 tons a year. These solar panels perform 5 to 15 percent better than conventional rooftop ones due to the cool reservoir environment. They also don't experience shading from nearby buildings, maximizing power generation. Two thirds of the reservoir is left untouched, so wildlife can continue to hunt and forage. Anti glare coatings are also used on the solar panels so they won't disorientate birds. We have also included environmental impact studies, consulted uh, nature groups uh, who also help us to scope the, the studies so as to ensure that any concerns can be duly addressed. And so uh, through this study, we have noted that there is no observable impact, whether it's in terms of water quality, environment or biodiversity. We have selected uh, food grade floats that will ensure the continuous quality of the water. Uh, it was carefully um, designed so that the airflow and the temperature flow will still allow um, sunlight through the water. Sam Corp says this is the first solar project in the world to deploy advanced drone imaging technology. It captures X-ray-like signals emitted by the panels to quickly pinpoint defects. GPS trackers also monitor the positions of the floating panels. Two more floating solar farms at Lower Salita and Badok Reservoirs will be completed this year. Studies for an even larger 100-megawatt peak solar farm at Crunchy Reservoir are also underway.